Greetings, peace and blessings. Happy Sunday. I am the Moon Mama. And wow, we are on a roller coaster. <laughs> so today is the Sunday. And the sun is in um, Virgo. And Virgo is the constellation that is that is about service, um, your health, your body, how you take care of yourself, the foods you eat, um, the way you think about yourself, your ability to to perfect yourself. Are you doing it through criticism and self-annihilation like we Virgos have a tendency to do, relentlessly picking on yourself and others? Or are you capable of um, transmuting energy that allows you to grow and evolve? You know, the Virgo energy is is very persnickety. Um, it's it's in the details of things, right? So it's literally a very hypercritical energy. My I'm a Virgo sun, and my my sun is a Virgo moon, and that Virgo moon energy is, oh gosh, like literally, I cannot get this child to put his hands in dirt to like plant a flower or to plant seeds or. You know, when he comes in the house, he goes and washes his hands. Um, if he uses the bathroom, you know, whenever he goes into the bathroom, he washes his hands. He's just he's just a, a hand-washing child. And that's not anything I taught him, you know. It's just that Virgo energy is driven towards cleanliness and order. Um, and so this month is the time for us to bring ourselves into greater alignment with our 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 internal reality it's like being in service to yourself um and it's uncomfortable that's another thing about the virgo energy it is uncomfortable because it requires seeing things as they really are giving yourself the permission to see things see what's really going on and um and refraining from having the emotion over it Today, the sun in Jupiter is, um, the t today the sun, which is in Virgo, is in a trine with Jupiter, which is in Capricorn. And so it's asking us to renew our systems. The things that we have done to take care of ourselves before now, are they are out there extinct and outdated and obsolete. So we have to come into new ways of aligning and being uh, and believing in ourselves and having faith in ourselves um and it's it's really subtle you know so i want to talk about it in this way um i like i've been watching politically that like trump is president trump is asking or not asking demanding that we ignore um conversations around race and that he's going to take funding away from institutions that tell the truth about this system and how it has how it's built and how it disenfranchises and does harm to people of color, women, you know, through classism, politics and all this sort of stuff and not people of color, black people. And the question is you know, he's saying, let's continue the status quo. But with the sun in Virgo and Jupiter conjunct Saturn and Pluto and Capricorn, our governmental systems are coming down. And what we have to do is see how we have participated in these systems, how we take care of ourselves. So for instance, you know, are we going to continue to educate our children in alignment with lies and false truths and, and false narratives that really continue to do harm, not only to ourselves, but to others in our planet. Um, that's Virgo in a trine with Jupiter and Capricorn. Um, you know, what story are we telling ourselves? What are we doing that understanding that how we participate is is a real thing that we are in this together that our individuality is as much a part of this collective experience and so you know the emperor has no clothes on and are we going to continue to participate as if the emperor has clothes on and acting like 
it's not what it really is. Um, and so that's, that's the inner. Yesterday we were working with karma and our karmic things and this, and then to today it's literally how do, how does that individually impact us? Um, the moon today is in Taurus and the moon in Taurus is about our senses. So it's like, how are we feeling about this? Like Virgo is a very internal feminine energy. Like I said, about perfecting something and looking at, um, you know, what story are we telling? Are we in the illusion? Are we are we creating something in alignment with our spirituality and our collective consciousness that can help move us forward? Are we going to continue to do more harm and damage in ways that would then further um, further handicap our the generations that are coming? Um, and then with the moon in Taurus, it's understanding our value. Like it, the Taurus brings value to this. So, you know, so what do you feel about yourself? How do you feel about your participation in this? Um, how, can you take responsibility for yourself in this? You know, for me, I'm beginning to have conversations. For, I've been having conversations about how our country does health and wellness and education all my life. But I'm starting to ask, how am I participating? And what is it that I can do that's, that can get us in a, that where I'm participating that can move me into a new way of being? So homeschooling, um, beginning to teach my child about things that he wouldn't learn in school, like crystals and energy and oils and you know, the cosmos, things like that. Education that really is in alignment with um, with something that is truth and he healthy and loving and compassionate. Really beginning to see how our U.S. systems have been designed and aligned truly in lies and falsified information. I was watching something the other day and they were talking about how many people discovered America before Columbus actually discovered America, like the thousands of years that Africans have been coming to America before Columbus discovered America and, and how important these truths are, you know? So how do we begin to perpetuate new ways of, um, new ways of being in this nation and around the world so that we are, so that we truly are stepping up? It, it's, it's very significant, you know, that these conversations are often centered around, um, black Americans and the the real true history of this country with black people and um and the value of us really waking up to the suppression and the oppression of stories and narratives and systems that have kept us out of our power out of our understanding of who we truly are and so the more that we can begin to question and re-identify this reality with what is really true, the more that we can step into who we are and and begin to drop the karmic the karmic patterning that has come from this four hundred year experience, but it means that we get to see the lies as they are, and then un 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 wiggle ourselves out of them right it's It's like they're just they're just false stories, and when we see them as they are, drop them and then step in the tr into the truth. So with that, the moon is in Taurus today, the sun is in Virgo, and those energies are both earth energies. They are somewhat complementary um, in that they are both feminine, so they are internal. And so we don't have to take action outside of ourselves today. We get to just look and see how we are, um, how we're caring for ourselves, like what stories we're telling ourselves, how we're participating in the in the collective experience. Um, do we believe in ourselves? Do we believe that we can take on a new identity? I know for me, you know, I've had to re rewire my belief system around Christianity. I remember when I when I realized that I was still holding a belief that a woman comes from a man's rib and how that was impacting my psyche. Um, you know, when we believe that our sexuality is sinful, you know, like really understanding how our sexual nature and our energies are working so that we can be more empowered with ourselves, really understanding what 
what what does it mean to be inside of a black body connected to melanin and the spiritual wisdom and energy and power that comes through being in a black body you know at this time in the in the in the world and understanding that we're inside of systems that are just all made up constructs but how can when we when we understand that these are all made up constructs then how do we take on new beliefs because we're still here we're still here and so um like I was talking to a girlfriend of mine today how do we throw away the bathwater without throwing away the baby or how do we throw away the baby without throwing away the bathwater how can we how can we begin to reframe and readjust things so i encourage you to sign up for the mars retrograde course the mars retrograde course will help us take on a new way of seeing these things and doing the self forgiveness work because we we've, we've all participated in things unknowingly or even maybe sometimes knowingly that we didn't realize that we were so we have to do the work to forgive ourselves and acknowledge where we where we all sort of fall short. I know that I do that for myself regularly because everybody's been duped. <laughs> it's just how it is. So peace and blessings, everyone. I am the Moon Mama. Um, thank you all for signing up for readings, for signing for the Ma Mars Retrograde class, um, for natal charts. Also, I really want to encourage you parents to get readings for your children. It makes a real difference so that you can begin to teach them and encourage them in the ways of the archetypes that are available to them through their birth chart. And um, because the kids today, they're not going for this gender stuff. They're not going for boys or this and girls or this and blacks or this and white or this. So you're going to have to give them a larger spectrum to choose from and how to be true to themselves. So get natal chart readings for them so that you can support them. All right. Peace and blessings, you all. I love y'all so much. It is hot in Los Angeles. The world is undergoing the biggest deconstruction we've ever seen. It is so important that we do our spiritual work to tap into higher consciousness right now. And that that is going to mean that we see ourselves as we truly are. Don't judge yourself. Don't make yourself wrong. But you got to see it so you can heal it. All right. Peace and blessings. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.